All right. So this demonstration focuses on the concept of the Roche limit and why outer planets have rings and inner planets don't. So imagine if you could for a second that this is not Earth, this is actually Saturn, um, and the blue ring or the yarn that we have going around it, this represents Saturn's Roche limit. Now typically objects spin around forming a sphere. Think of the moon going around the Earth. It becomes spherical in shape and it always stays outside of the Roche limit. So the moon's not going to come crashing inside anytime soon. So we don't have to worry about that. Now other objects like let's say an asteroid or a comet um, actually travel through space. And every once in a while as they travel through space they actually cross into the path of the Roche limit or they come close enough that they get grabbed in by the planet's gravity. And as it gets grabbed by the planet's gravity some of these objects actually start to get pulled closer and closer. That's what our fortune cookie represents. So we have this asteroid, it's coming by Saturn, it gets the pull of Saturn's gravity and actually starts to come in. And it does continue to rotate, but as it rotates, it gets closer and closer and closer. Now, typically these objects go around as a sphere. As these objects, however, become pulled into the planet, as it gets closer to the planet, they actually start to flatten out. And what you see is that the portion of an object that's facing the planet, so the satellite, or in this case the asteroid, that's facing the planet, gets a pull of what's known as tidal forces, and the portion that's closest gets the strongest pull. And as it gets pulled, eventually what happens is it goes from being a sphere or a, a shape like the fortune cookie and actually starts to flatten out. Now eventually, it flattens out to the point where it actually crosses the Roche limit. And once it crosses that, it actually breaks apart, becomes disintegrated. So just like this cookie gets broken up here, it also gets broken up going all the way around. Now one thing you'll notice is that the cookie doesn't break up evenly. Some portions are outside, some portions are inside. Now these inside portions, so what's inside the Roche limit, are going to spin slightly faster than these portions that are outside. And it's this difference in rotational speed that causes the rings to form. If everything spun at the same time, you would just see a giant ring. But because the inside portion springs a little bit faster because it's closer to the planet, stronger gravity, and the outside portion, which spins a little bit slower, you actually get to see the layers of the rings. And that is how the Roche limit causes rings on Saturn.